quick brief about her way. So her way is a online series talk show hosting women from around the world. Um, women who are willing to put themselves out there, taking into consideration we want to inspire more women, more youth, uh, raise awareness on crucial topics. And I think you're one of the Amjad strongest women out there who have been through so much within your journey, which I'm so looking forward to know about your way. Uh, but I'm going to do a quick introduction about you and then we take it from there. Let's do that. Okay. So Dr. Joyce Azam uh, is a Lebanese mountaineer and a conservation architect. Uh, Dr. Joyce has climbed uh, the seven summits. She's the first Lebanese woman to climb the seven summits and she has climbed 29 mountains and some of them twice. Uh, Dr. Joyce has three master's degree. <laughs> so first one is interior architecture. Second one is management of local public system. And the third one is conservation of historic cities and building. And on top of that, Dr. Joyce and a PhD, which is landscape and environment. Did I get them all correct? Yes. You are great, Tima. <laughs> I know. I make, I make people's uh, life hard <laughs> with my <laughs> degrees. This is amazing. So tell us, Araji, what is your way and how did you get to where you are today? Look, my way is um, that I followed what uh, made me happy. And like, the thing is, it's a question always they ask me, like, how did you find out that mountains are, you know, your passion, right? Um, because, you know, when I was uh, young as a child, I couldn't really go to the mountains or, you know, hike or whatever, because um, it was during, you know, my childhood was during the Lebanese Civil War. So um, this didn't help me really to uh, go and discover nature or hiking or the mountains or whatever. But when I was at university in 2005, I was around 20, 21. I was at the Lebanese University studying architecture. I went hiking, a yeah. simple hike uh, in Psetin yeah. al-Asa in Batroun. It's a simple hike, muddy terrain. I really was falling <laughs> because I didn't know how to walk in a, you know, on the trail. Um, but... I really enjoyed that. And every time my friends would say, oh, let's go hiking, or another friend said, let's go paragliding, I, I felt energized. So it's like one thing. My way is to go to what makes me feel energized. Hello, Manal, how are you? Um, so the thing is, first, you've, you, how you can you know, get to know your passion is try and find something that makes you feel energized. Like energized, which, mean, which means even though, you know, Tima, you are a mountaineer, we really have a lot of challenges. We face a lot, a lot of challenges in the mountain. We are tired, we, but still we are, <laughs> we feel happy. So this, this is what I mean, you know, by energized. Second, <laughs> Yeah, on the mountain, the sweet suffering. So I don't understand why we love the suffering, but it's too sweet that we do what we do. I mean, I don't know if it's really <laughs> sweet, but um, for me, um, thank you, Manal. You are also a hero. Thank you very much. Um, look, for me, it's this challenge that brings joy afterwards you know it is this investment you put out there and you gain from it that's why every time they say like who like why the mountains because once i got to you know early to soda which okay. i'm like living now literally in front of this mountain oh uh, it's beautiful uh, out there um uh I, I mean, I got to earn it so that the first time was in 2006. So the feeling of, there's a sense of achievement when you stand on a mountain. At least this is how I felt. That really stayed within me, you know. Like, just to give people a few insights. My childhood, my teenager, I wasn't athletic. I was always scared. During university, I was always like, you know, this... Um, kind of, uh, um, you know, I can get the panic attack easily. 
um so i wasn't really this strong girl during you know especially also physically i have this uh, problem with my knees it's um hypermobility syndrome or um uh, like hyperlaxity so my knees would go backward and i was called a nailian when i was <laughs> when i was like 8 to 12 years old bullied by my friends um so um this That's didn't give me any like this. exactly so kill hai dole abu fik ya abu fik how did you deal with this because who you were is not who you are right now and like what yes. was your oh my god that? oh my god honestly tima i reinvented myself how by facing my own fears so i had a fear of you know like facing facing anything in life like even running a marathon or even hiking or like i really had this fear every time i want to do e if you want to see me the first time i went rappelling yeah i cried and i was like really scared and i'm gonna die and and then i try tried it and it's like okay that's fun so we really don't know until we try and we face our fear and for me i faced my fear yani honestly climbing the highest summit summits in the like the highest in each continent or everest it wasn't on my list like i really was happy to climb ornith sauda and for you know anyone who's not lebanese ornith sauda is the highest summit here it's 3088 meters literally i mean what i felt when i climbed Ernit Sauda in 2006 in May 2006 was i mean quasi more or less the same of what i felt when i climbed Everest on the 23rd of May 2019 oh, wow. so yeah because it is an achievement for me standing on top of Ernit Sauda was an achievement i i trained myself a year tima you cannot imagine i really had this problem with my my joints I couldn't go down. I would fall. I, you know, بالعربي we say بتسكع. لأنه my knee would go backward, like pa, you know. And it's yeah. really like it's painful. I can't understand. Yeah. Hmm. So, so I, I had to. So basically, no, يعني no going down. Eh. So just for everyone to understand, today's Joyce is going to be talking to us about facing your fears. So under that, Joyce has. her way how she faced her fears and how she reinvented herself let's take you to highlight it most good thank you so, so i will i will use three words to explain to everyone how i face by the way we can switch between yeah. arabic and mafi mishkli by the way ah oh, okay perfect yeah. so my three words tlet kelmat bahaddo kif ana wajahat al khawf tabai awal shi bil halam wal halam bikhla min passion yani you know i i i really discovered my passion boom and then after a few years yani the first time i climbed the a mountain was in 2006 after six years i got this idea to climb the seven uh, summits with the team with the lebanese team team lebanon which i say hi and we were a group oh i mean i i knew nothing about this i mean i knew about them from maxim shaya Uh, actually i was at one of his presentations in 2006 at the speleo club uh, du liban i was caving with the with the speleo uh, club du liban and i remember writing all these names you know but yani akid mish ana rah amelon yani no way ana to climb these mountains but after six years with this team we start uh, this idea of climbing the seven summits as the first uh, lebanese team you know as a group um we started a few mountains and then i found myself going for my other dream which is the, my phd yani i really wanted to do a phd oh my yani i cannot afford it my parents cannot afford it i come from a very modest family um grew up in a, like five children i'm number four you know my, my parents in the maximum you know joyce you are amazing you got your uh, degree in architecture خلاص يلا you have the best job ever oh, we don't uh, ask you to do more you know 
having a dream is kind of um, something شو عم تعملي او او كلهم يضحكوا علي انه شو رايحه تعربش جبال وتضيعي وقتك او انت مهندسه وبعدين صرت عم بعمل الدكتوراه اخذت سكولرشيب من ايطاليا عم بعمل الدكتوراه لشو بتعملي هي سو so, لنرجع انا كيف واجهت الخوف تبعي كان عندي ثلاث اشياء اول شيء I had the courage to dream and to share my dream with everyone. Although this created some <laughs> um, a kind of a, not, like misunderstanding, let's say, because when you dream, you have to have the courage to let it out. Don't, you know, people are kind of afraid sometimes. But Anna, when I discovered that I had a dream, I was so happy about it. So too. <laughs> <laughs> spread it out, you know, I was telling everyone, I have this dream. Second, uh, the second word, determination, المثابره. يعني اليوم انت بده يكون عندك حلم لتواجهي الخوف تبعك، انا كنت خاف كثير من الطبيعه ومن الجبال، امي كانت اصلا ترعبني من انا وصغيره انه هلا رح يطلع لك حيه. يعني there's a snake everywhere. انه وين ما رح امشي في اخضر في حيه، you know? Yeah. And أول أشخاص بمشيوا معي بالجبل in 2005 they remember I really had this phobia إنه هلا رح تطلع حية يقولوا لي ما في حياة يا بلبنان إنه في بس إنه قليل you know plug in something here which is I think very important for the parents today إنه you see كيف بخافوا كثير على أولادهم لدرجة إنه ما تجربوا تعملوا لا انتبهي لا أنت بنت whatever حتى so. the boys كثير بخافوا عليهم إنه ينأذوا بصير الاميونيتي سيستم والتولرنس ليفل تبعهم كثير واطي اند اكزاكتلي وات هابنز سو بفكر في سنيكس ايفري وير سو اي ثينك ات وود بي نايس تو هايلايت فور بيرنتس انه اي ثينك اتس اوكي فور يور تشايلد تو جيت ا ليتل بيت هيرت يعني يو نيد تو بوت ذيم شوي اوت اوف ذيير كومفورت زون وات دو يو ثينك؟ يا يا بات عم يضحكوا على سنيك بات اتس ترو هلا اي ونت تيل يو يعني ليتس هيك اوبن براكتس عن البيرنتس عن اهلنا انا كثير قضيت مع اهلي يعني اي هاد ريلي ا lot of like uh, <laughs> hardship معهم لانه they couldn't understand my dream and بس بدي اقول لك شغله هلا بشوفها اي understand their point of view لانه اول شيء هن ما خلقوا بوضع انه فيهم يحلموا ولا عندهم opportunity يحلموا خلقوا بالحرب they didn't have a choice no privileges so from one side هن خايفين علي بلس خايفين من الجبل وما بعرف شو بلس عندهم their own traumas هي yeah. امي عندها يمكن ما بعرف هي وصغيره يمكن طلع شافت حيه وخافت منها يو نو سو بدي اقول شغله للكل بدنا ننتبه اهلنا يمكن يقولوا لنا لا على اشياء ما يعني انا بجرب اذا بفيد غيري انه ما تتصادموا معهم فهموهم وكونوا انتم ريسبونسبل وفرجون كيف انتم عم بتروحوا على الحلم تبعكم، يعني كيف فرجيت لأهلك؟ أنا... شو قلت لهم لأهلك؟ إنه لا أنا بدي أعب الجبال وأنا بدي ذيس إز وات أي أنا كان عندي أنا كان كان في شيء عم بقول لك الباشن تبعي وهالحلم أقوى بكثير من إنه أهلي يقولوا لي ما تعملي. الفرجيتهم إياه إنه أي واز ريسبونسبل أول شيء تو كيب أب ويز ماي أون دريم تو فند إت ثرو سبونسر شيب pitching and learning how to market myself, learning how to create a brand for myself, believing in joys, like, you know, and this took me a few years, huh? She's seven years. Then how is she? I wasn't um, yani, trusting my potential, you know, yeah. because Joyce, she's, Joyce, yani, the girl I know, mm. I know, yani, 13 or 14 or 8 or 9 or 10, she's so weak. She's so, um, يعني she doesn't have the confidence. She was bullied because of her posture, كيف بتو off, or her joints, or بيعملوا هيك, or alien, or ما بعرف شو. فهولي كلهم, it was hard for me to go and طلع تاني جويس, you know, like the strong one, the one who would be very honest with herself and face the fear and face also the society because Yeah. Our society, and Lebanon, ma kan, no, shu ant, shu mfakr halik bilik roh taamli le first Lebanese woman. Ma smata ktir, you know. But why not, guys? Why not? Put your dream out there. Be confident about it. Go. 
يعني اف انا انا بدي اكون اول هيدا يمكن حدا ثاني بده يكون يعمل شيء ثاني ليش بالاولمبيكس الاتليت بيروحوا بيقولوا اي ونا جيت ذا جولد ليه يو ونا جيت انه بدك تطلع على 100 انت او بدك تطلع الاول يو نو ذس از سبورت ذس از كومبيتيشن ذس از بوشينج ايتش اذر كرييتينج يعني هيدا الشيء كثير مهم سو so, بدي ارجع على ماي اون ستراكشر اباوت هاو اي فيس ماي ماي فير هن يوزينج ذا دريم Mm-hmm. I had this dream. It was hard to fight for it and keep it. And Kremel Hek, I told him, "Bull, Anna, be faithful to your dream." And I am look a relationship, you know, like be faithful to your dream. Um, but then the second thing is irade, determination. Oh my God, you need a lot yeah, of determination and perseverance. Online, which is a determined demon, something Anna I love about you. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, I call myself the de- yeah, the double D, the, the determined. Is- Very nice slogan. Thank you. So, um, determination. كيف بتجي determination? Guys, بتكون تروحوا بلشوا تخلقوا حواليكم positive um, group of support system. هلا أنا my support system بلش مع خي جورج, my brother who studied uh, sports education. Who he's my coach. He would put. All his, you know, like uh, effort coaching, it's not like best in a personal instructor. And today, coaching, who he, he would coach you how to, as an athlete to be in shape to attack your goal, you know, yeah. or whatever challenge you have. So he was there, hatta psychologically, tier sadne. We would uh, change the training program before weekly training, before training, before the 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 training, before Um, هو اشتغل كثير على المايند منتل بريبريشن يعني هيدا الشيء كثير مهم مع جورج بلش يخلق لايك تيم يو نو اتس لايك انا اي كول ذيم ماي انجل تيم اند ذيس جروب اوف بيبل ذي بيليفد ان مي من قلبهم اند ذي ريلي وانتد مي تو سكسيد اند ذيس از وان ثينج جايز يو هاف ا دريم بعقد بس بوت ات اوت ذير بي كوريجيوس ذن ستارت attracting people to you but dik ent tchidion la andik ma hada rah yeji illik oh habibti your dream gonna happen ma hada ma hada talaik tima ala everest right ent tlati ala everest so it's your own decision it yeah. is a personal decision and you have to really oh this mish ent tahtuha ala ghairkun wa ahli ma khalluni wa haydaki ma amil li wa aslan ana ma laqit sponsor wa ana ma andi la ما في هيدا الحكي بس يكون في ديترمينيشن بدنا نشوفه انا بتعرفي كم حدا قال لي لا يو نوت جونا سكسيد ضحكوا علي قالوا لي ار يو ريلي جونا ريز فور فينسن اند ايفرست ذس هول ماني ضحكوا علي بلبنان في كثير عالم قاعد على الطاوله عم بيتشينج فور سبونسر شيب يعني ضحكوا علي خصوصي يعني جروب اوف مان لانه فور ذيم وي هاف ذا فيرست لابينيز مان واي دو وي نيد ذا فيرست لابينيز ومان ذس از وات اي هيرد بس I didn't take a no for an answer. يعني هيدا النو بس يقولوا لك اياها if you really believe in your dream بس بدي اقول لك شغله اكيد صار كان عندي doubt around it يعني هون الفير بيرجع بخوفك وانت ويك وبفوت بهول يعني نوع من الديبريشن اكيد بس بدنا نرجع بدنا نرجع نتذكر وقت تخلقي your support system هو بيرجع بيشيلي you know so it's very important and the second word I used هي determination هي اللي بقلبها بس نخلق support system هلا تالت كلمة how I faced my fear او هي يعني بالstructure تبعي service الخدمة ليش أنا كنت مثلا بنوفمبر 2018 كنت عاملة خمسة من سبعة وما عم بلاقي سبونسر شيب، أنت بتعرفي فينسنت اتس نوت ايزي تو جيت. يو نو اتس اكسبنسيف. اللي صار ليه كملت لأنه كنت عم بترك المشروع، أخذت شغل بالنذرلاندز، رايحة أعلم بالجامعة، خلص. I am out of the project. I got a Facebook message from uh, Henri. Uh, he's like a 10 years old boy. Mm-hmm. And he chose me to be his hero, like explorer. He's doing a presentation about me to his classmates. Nice. I was like, oh my God, like this project, it isn't about me anymore. This project is about inspiring others. It is right. about service. It's about 
a lot of other things يعني انا ما بلشت وومن امباورمنت جيرل امباورمنت انا هنري او انري فهمني 10 years old boy خليني اترك الشغل بالنذرلاندز وضلني بلبنان <تصفيق> يعني كلهم بيقولوا لي معقوله ولد انا عم تتركي شغل بالجامعه سو ذس ريلي يعني فرجيني انه ذير از سيرفيس انسايد اوف يور dream and this is where you start feeling it's not about me anymore it yeah, is about others it's about world, so giving back uplift everyone giving back exactly the more i'm giving back beautiful yes okay and, nice. and this, is, this is how i could continue facing my fears because كل مره كانت اصعب يعني اوكي بلشت بالحلم so what إذا ما بده هيدا الحلم كيف بده يخليه يصير حقيقة بدي determination بدي support system بدي mm. perseverance بس من بعد كل هول وكنت عم بتمرن وكذا I felt like I'm out of this I cannot continue بيجي أنري uh, وبفهمني إنه it's about giving back and this is how I could you know overcome all these obstacles um, create my own opportunities انتبهي على طول بيقولوا لنا انه واو يو ار لاكي يو هاف ا نايس سمايل يو يو جونا جيت ات جايز نو 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 اند نو ات از اباوت يو نو كرييتنج يور اون اوبورتونيتي بلبنان وانت بتعرفي كثير منيح ما حتى بالعالم العربي بالريجن ما كثير بيعطوا مصاري سبونسرز لاتليت بنت لا ومن اتليت Um, I think I'm see a lot of questions just to like add in here. I had a question. Go to Joyce page and put in your question for her and she's going to be answering you. Uh, last yeah. question for today, Joyce. What does woman empowerment mean to you? What does it mean to me? Yeah. It means in, uh, to be honest with ourselves as women. And when we see another powerful women in front of us to really uh, be honest and salute her you know yeah. this is what uh, does it mean hala it's not about you know everything and i did and it was like for women empowerment i told you ana a, a boy made me continue the project and i saw it in in the eyes of boys and girls it's not just for women empowerment but We cannot deny, and you know, as especially in our region where we come from, we need to emphasize the importance of women in sports and women in our society. It's, يعني حتى لو بيقولوا لك إنه ما خلص هلكتونا بالwomen empowerment بس عنا بعد كتير شغل لأن الطلعة وين البنات بالsports وين Not only in sports, in every industry in the Middle East, or hatta I think worldwide, they're still struggling. But specifically now in the Middle East, so given that we're not from the Middle East, every industry, when it comes to women empowerment, we're still in a mahali when we see the ulu falatuna or khalas be kafi women empowerment, and when you are empowered, see another part where people do not see, do not see those women who doesn't have a voice, who doesn't have a say, who doesn't cannot act up, and I think. as empowerment to empower them to uplift them because we're being uplifted we're very privileged whether it's personality character the life that we have where we are today now we owe them this and when it comes to empowerment it means literally lifting both men and women yeah and best with the ulshi bad it's not about creating amazing projects hala say a bit Uh, we love mountains we climb exactly. mountains but mm. it is about it's it is something for each woman or girl hala am tismana boys into rah tsaadoon okay you yeah. gonna help them to do it live your personal purpose go get it 
فهموها كيف تعرفوها روحوا شوفوا شو بخليكم تكونوا انرجايزد روحوا شوفوا شو بخليكم تكونوا باشنت فور شور يو هاف ا باشن مش معقول يعني ما حدا يقول لي انه ما عندكم باشن روحوا اعملوا خلوا روحوا عيشوها عيشوا هالبيرسونال بيربس اللي عندكم اياها انا ماي بيربس كانت انه روح انه عندي كثير انترست جبال او بي اتش دي وما بعد عملتهم انه عملتهم وايم ايم دوينج ات دو اي ديد ذم فور ماي اون سيلف بس لانه عملتهم لإلي عم بقدر اخدم فيهم غيري ام جيفينج باك سم وير سم هاو يمكن اي مين ايفن اف اي كان انسباير وان بيرسون بحياتي بكون انا عملت ماي بيرسونال بيربس بس لانه رحت على شيء انا بحبه Because yeah. I really listened to myself, I empowered, hopefully, other women to also do the same. And this is woman empowerment for me. Beautiful. social norms social norms, your own environment ما حدا يقنعني بال نحن بال 2020 بعدنا بدنا نقول لا ما اهلي ما خلوني وانا عايشه هون ما فينا بقى نحط حالنا بالفيكتم سايد لازم نروح ونلاقي طرق مش نتخانق مع اهلنا بس نكون ريسبونسبل فور اور اون اكشنز كوريكت جويس اي ونت سي ثانك يو سو ماتش اتس بين ا بليزر هافينج يو اون ذا شو عن جد ثانك يو سو ماتش فور And I love the support Thank that you. you're getting on the comments. I, I forgot where you found info, the questions. But that, like, it's like, really nice. But like, I'm not going to do it. So, Anjad, everyone, go to Joy's page. Post in the questions. She is an, a charmed badass. So, I'm going to save the ass from her. And uh, <laughs> having you, Joy, I'm glad. And Thank I, you, Tima. You're an inspiration. You're an inspiration to me and a lot of other women. So, I wish you all the best. Thank you. It means a lot to me, and this is a great initiative you are doing. Bravo, Leike. Um, I hope uh, Heke, we send our voices to others, and others will, will also inspire us. It's, uh, يعني, you inspire me, I inspire you. Exactly. It's not one way. We can, and we will have a, a better society, a happier one. <laughs> More positive, I believe.